Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our monthly tarot reading. This will be for May 2016, and it will be for the sign of Aries. And we're using the Golden Universal Tarot, and let's get started with our reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. Take a card from the top for the beginning of the month. Take a card from the center for the middle of the month. And we take a card from the bottom for the end of the month. Okay, and what do we have here, Aries? Okay, we start the month off with the Empress. Okay, card number three. Beautiful Empress. And she's sitting upon her throne. She's in a beautiful golden, uh, beautiful golden detail up here around her head. We have a gold heart down below here. Oops. Let me fix these cards. And uh, she has a very serious, serious look on her face. Um, and when I look at this card, uh, the Empress is the beginning of something. Uh, giving birth to something, not necessarily um, a birth of a child, but maybe beginning some type of new project, maybe beginning uh, some type of, um, how could I say it, maybe beginning of a business, maybe the start of a business. Uh, when I look at the Empress, I, I think of abundance, okay? She is literally the mother uh, type of figure. So this is the beginning of something in the beginning of the month for you. In the month of May, you are, so to say, birthing something, uh, bringing something to life. Like I said, it could be a project. It could be maybe starting a business. Let's see how the other cards line up with this. And then we have the Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Swords is reversed. Normally it would look like this. Okay, but we have it reversed. And when I look at the Ace of Swords, uh, first of all, the swords are a very strong, strong type of energy. And with it being reversed, okay, it's telling us maybe it's not the time to take action, okay? Maybe we need to slow down a bit. If the sword card was upright, it would be considering a new challenge, a very large challenge that you're about to take on. So maybe we're being told to take it easy, take a slower type of pace. We're beginning something in the beginning of the month, but we don't want to rush into things, okay? Want to take it nice and slow, okay? And we want to, you know, be able to handle things with a clear and cool mind. And sometimes we get ahead of ourselves. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe slowing down a bit in the middle of the month and not getting too carried away. And then the last card for the end of the month, okay, is the Eight of Swords. We see those swords again. And when we see the swords, uh, swords are mental mental type of, of, of things. And as you can see, she's blindfolded and she's bound Okay, she's tied up. She's restricted. Okay, so something's going to happen at the end of the month where you're going to feel trapped. You're going to feel restricted. Maybe you're going to hit a few snags with what we're beginning in the beginning of the month. Looks very promising. It's the birth of something. Okay, but in the middle of the month, we're going to be a little bit more cautious. Okay, we're not, it's not going to get off to quite a flying start. It's going to be a slow go. That's how I see it. And then at the end of the month, we're going to feel some type of a, a restriction. Okay? Things aren't as bad as they seem, though. Okay? I don't want you to be disturbed by the look of this card because she looks like she's distressed being blindfolded and bound. But you could work your way out of this. Okay? She could easily slip out of the situation here. She doesn't have to stay trapped. Okay? So keep a cool head. Start whatever you're going to begin because this is the card, this is the green light in the beginning of May for you to birth something, begin something, start something anew, give life to it. 
in the middle of the month, let's take it a little easy, okay? Might not be so smooth sailing. The end of the month, you're going to feel like you're trapped, but you're really not. It's not going to be as tough as it seems, whatever it is that you're planning for this month of May, okay? It's not as bad as you think it is. You could work your way through it. So whatever obstacles you come up against at the end of the month, you're going to break free of them, okay? Aries has a way of, you know, un, un, how could I say? Aries has a way of making things happen. They go straight for what they want. Um, they're very, very courageous. And whatever this thing at the end of the month is that seems like it's, it's going to hold you back, believe me, it won't be for long. <laughs> if you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I will be back.